Man, I really regret wearing this heavy jacket. It's warm as hell out here. And yet, people still say global warming doesn't exist. <sighs> hey, wait a moment. Is that one of my clients? Oh, it's him. But they look so sad. Should I try and talk to them? Ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? It shouldn't even matter that I'm outside of work hours anyway. Hey there. How are you doing? Yeah, it's me. I actually live in this town. Surprising, right? <laughs> You're probably wondering why I'm here. Well, I come to this place on occasion for dinner if I don't feel like cooking something for myself at home. Yeah, I live only five blocks away from this place. Anyways, I digress. I saw that you looked upset and also a little angry over something, so I wanted to come check on you. I know your next appointment is in a few days, but who cares? I'm not here right now to be a therapist or anything of that sort. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. I want to be here for you as a friend. I get that you're my client and all, but I'd say we're friendly enough to act this way too, right? I'm glad you agree. Now, what's been on your mind? College work? Are you talking about that one project you discussed last time? They beat you up? What the hell? Well, I guess that explains that huge bruise on your face. Why did they beat you up? You told the teacher that they weren't doing the work? Hmm. That really sucks. However, those people sound like assholes anyway. They deserved it. On a brighter note, I'm happy that you followed through and took my advice. Good boy. Wait, did I just call you a good boy? Oops. <laughs> just a slip of the tongue. My fault. Anyways, I know they beat you up and all that, but what happened beforehand? Like, did you say anything that might have provoked it? No? Oh, that's really great. It shows that your ability to hold back has gotten better, too. However... Did you fight back against them? No? Oh, it was broken up after the first swing. Gotcha. That bruise looks really bad, though. Does it still hurt? Yeah? Okay, here. Get up. Follow me. I'm going to take you to my house. You'll be a lot warmer there. Don't try lying to me. I'm your therapist. I can see right through lies as if they're made of glass. I know you're cold. That's better. Now, let's get you up. And here we are. How is it? Warmer than outside? Well, obviously. But how do you think it looks? <laughs> Aw, thanks. I actually spent a lot of time getting this place decorated for Christmas. I'll have you know I'm very passionate when it comes to decorating for all holidays. Oh? Yeah, that's me and my brother in that frame. What, do we look similar? Yeah, I've gotten that a lot. But what can I say? It is true. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go get changed. I'll also get a towel with some warm water for that bruise. Make yourself comfortable while you wait, okay? Okay, I'm back. And I see you've made yourself comfortable, as I said. <laughs> you took my instructions so well, you know? Anyways, scoot over a bit. I'll sit down next to you and then you can rest your head on my lap. There you go. Now hold still while I treat it. I know, I know it hurts. I understand completely. It'll be over soon. There we go. How do you feel now? Why the long face? What's wrong now? You don't deserve my comfort. What do you mean? Hey, hey, 
What have I said about saying negative things like that? It's not true, and you know it. Yeah, I know it's been hard, but like... <sighs> Let me just... How does my chest feel? Hmm? Warm? <laughs> That's great. But listen. There's something I want to tell you. So listen more closely than ever before. Okay? I love you. I love you so much. And I really care about you. More than, like, a therapist ever should. It breaks my heart to see you get inconvenienced by so many people. I do agree that the way you get treated is totally unfair. You deserve way more. And well, I'd be more than willing to give that to you. You love me too? Oh, you know, I kind of figured that since our first meeting. How you were always so intent on making me happy. How obedient you took my instructions. <sighs> You're such a good boy. Yeah, I know I said good boy. I mean it, silly. 